Hi. Um, let's do a love reading for Pisces, shall we? <laughs> okay, Pisces, this is going to be your love reading. We're getting down to the end of the month, and I gotta do April, so I gotta get your house reading that. So I was waiting to get my new decks, and I did, I got one of them. I just did a deck review, so I'm going to use that to give you some character traits of your person, Pisces. I'm so excited about it. All right. Oh, I need to get my bell so I can clear your space. Hold on one second. Okay. I did <laughs> your energy clearing off camera, so just had to ring my little bell. All right. Ready now for Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Eight cards for Pisces, please. Ooh, we got the hanged man. So what is on pause for you, my darlings? Oh, wow. What in the fuck, Pisces? Ah, not my Pisces. We have the Hanged Man in the Tower. Some kind of divine intervention. Let's not panic yet. Let's keep going. Oh, no. It came out right... God damn it. <laughs> I cleared the energy, too, so... Aquarius had none of this energy in the reading. I don't know what's going on. Oh, but we got the sun after that, so we're not panicking yet. We have the Hanes Man, we have the Tower, we have Eight of Swords. So, but then we have the Sun. Oh, hmm, not sure if we'll keep that. Queen of Swords. We're going to call that a side energy card. <laughs> okay. Page of Wands. I'm just going to keep going because I want to get all the cards out before I read them so I can get an idea of what's going on. So someone is hiding their feelings. This Page of Wands came out right next to the moon. Either that or they're triggering you. There's some shadows. Hold on. There's a lot coming through. King of Pentacles. Whoa. Shoot. Hold on. Damn. Okay, so another card flew out and it was the Ten of Cups. So there is, there is, there's a lot of happiness here. There's Ten of Cups, there's the Sun. Those are the two happiest cards in the deck, right? But before we get there, there's some, there's some, some, There's some trouble in paradise, my beautiful Pisces. Um, let me get this last card out for you. There is something <clears throat> that you, what in the fuck? <laughs> there is something that you have been mulling over and over again in your mind. And I don't know what it is, but I can tell that you've been thinking something over, over and over again. It's almost like it's in a loop, right, in your brain. Because we got the hanged man, and we have the tower, and we have the eight of swords, and they all came out together. So this shows me that something has been, like, there's been no movement. It's on pause, right? This is a pause. It came out with the tower and with this. So whatever decision you've been trying to make, feel like you feel like you're trapped somehow. I mean, the hanged man can represent enlightenment and it came out with the tower and the tower can also represent enlightenment. So I don't know, maybe you've had an aha moment of enlightenment and you're moving out of this feeling of being trapped. Because we got this sun card after that. 
So, you know, it's hard to see how this energy of the Eight of Swords, as in like feeling trapped or whatever, could lead to this Sun card. Unless you know already that all of this was divinely guided. Does that make sense? <laughs> You're like, hell no. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm having a hard time really tapping into your, your energy field right now, Pisces. I don't know why. I take it as it resonates. But you know what? We have Queen of Swords, which came out as a side energy. So I feel like you are at some point going to put up some walls and boundaries. And there's three energies that came out um, along with the moon. Okay? So you're either doing some heavy shadow work. Um, subconscious like shadow work or there's something being hidden from you from someone or multiple people okay I'll tell you why I say in that because all right so this was a side energy that came out which is the queen of swords it's about sort of being logical it's I mean it definitely is a heavy card of putting up boundaries and the other side energy that came up is the Ten of Cups. So there is massive blessings coming in. It's just the energy is confusing because we have, you know, the Hanged Man, the Tower. I mean, honestly, it feels like you're doing a lot of shadow work and enlightenment because we got the moon. We got the Hanged Man, like I said, which can represent enlightenment. And then the Tower, which can represent... It looks scary. It's a tower. But it can represent a moment of heavy enlightenment that comes through a massive shadow moment. Okay? And maybe you're freeing yourself from these restrictions. And that's how you get the sun. Bam! There it is, Pisces. Just took a while for me to tap in. Okay, so we got Page of Wands. It came out with the Moon and the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So this is a lot of divine masculine energy going on here. Pisces, this is a whole lot of danglings. <laughs> now, some of, I'm sorry. It is. Some of this could be your energy. I mean, you could be having some of these masculine traits. But let's go through and talk about what these cards represent. Page of Wands, fire sign energy, usually a younger fire sign, okay, um, passionate, um, they like to, they're very curious, they like to learn new things, um, this could be, to me, the Page of Wands energy is always like someone who's like sort of going through a spiritual awakening because the wand represents like growth, and the way that they're, they're holding the wand, it's like they're tapping into their own personal growth that's how i always interpret the page of wands okay and it came out with the moon so this very well could be a divine masculine younger fire sign who is um doing some shadow work tapping into their subconscious or this could be you doesn't you know it, it's not about sex it's just the energy it's versatile okay we have king of pentacles now, this is a card um, of an earth sign. So it would be, you know, the earth, uh, Capricorn, Taurus. What's the other sign? Virgo. But someone who's more into comfort. Um, I call this my Taurus card because, look, it's got two bulls on it. I don't know if it's Taurus energy or not, but it feels very Taurus-y. And Tauruses, you know, they love stability. They love... Um, security they like having nice things in their home they like having a home so i feel like at this point pisces you're really working hard on like creating some stability for yourself this doesn't feel like your partner's energy i mean it could be and it's it's really hard to tell you guys apart because you guys are so intertwined like i said it's it's really hard um generally when i do love readings it's like <laughs> You know, it's, it's hard to tell if I'm reading your energy or your person's energy or maybe a mixture of both. 
because usually you guys are super linked at the soul. Um, but it feels like you're really working on creating some stability for yourself after doing some massive shadow work and um, having some powerful moments of enlightenment and discovering who you are. We have Knight of Cups. So again, this is the, um, a divine masculine energy. Romantic. Steadfast and patient. So either way, it's all leading to this. <laughs> so I feel like at some point, though, you're going to need to put up some boundaries. I mean, it, it's showing to me right now, Pisces, that you're a you're a male magnet. <laughs> there is no shortage of dangalangs in your space. So <laughs> I'm just saying, OK, we're going to pull some romance angels <laughs> <laughs> this reading's getting really long. I have a new deck that I got from, um, well, I did a deck review, so if you're curious as to where it came from, check out that video. But it gives you character traits and physical traits about your person, so we're going to do that. We're going to end with that. I'm really excited to be using that deck. It's really cool, though. So. All right, what do we got for Pisces? Two cards for Pisces, please. Whew. What is going on? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Well, there's where that Ten of Cups and um, Sun card comes in. Honeymoon. And then we have getting to know each other. Oof. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And then we have Honeymoon. So for some of you, this is a literal trip. You're going to be taking a trip with someone, and during this trip, you are going to, like it says, reveal your innermost secrets to each other and selves. You're going to be getting to know someone. Now, if someone asks you to go on a trip, and you know you feel like you know them well enough to go on that trip, then I say go for it, Pisces. But again, you're going to have to use your own judgment and discernment. If you don't want to go out with this person, or... You know, go to a on a trip with them, then you don't have to. You don't have to take my advice. Always trust your, always trust your own gut. Okay, so we're gonna get two cards from the Love Oracle, and then two cards from the Gypsy Witch, Pisces. What do we got? Hookup. <laughs> Ooh, Pisces, you be having some steamy ass shit going on in your love life right now. Get it in. Wowzers. So we have hookup. <laughs> it's self-explanatory. They caked up in the bedroom together. And then we have reconciliation. So let me just speak my mind, Pisces. This card right here says getting to know each other. But I'm going to tell you right now. The energy feels very much as in your souls know each other, okay? They really do. This reconciliation is not a reconciliation. It is a reconciliation of, I mean, it is reconciliation, but it's a, a reconciliation of two souls that know each other. This soul and this soul knows each other. They've had past lives together, and bam, that, that soul spark again whoo it's rekindled your souls recognize each other you wouldn't get the sun and the freaking uh you wouldn't get these two cards if it wasn't a <laughs> divinely guided soul union okay let's just say that all right We're doing the Gypsy Witch cards. Wow, we got we got lightning again. It's the same as the Tower Woman. It says number 43, lightning denotes surprise. <laughs> 43, it's thunder again. Look, with this Tower Moment, this thunder. This says number 43, lightning denotes surprise. If you add it up, it's seven. So that might be someone's life path number. I don't know. Four and three is seven. 
but it feels like when this love comes along, it's going to come as a complete surprise. It's just going to be like, bam, sudden attraction. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be ready for a Pisces. 42, a more is a sign, I told you. A more is a sign that someone is looking at you with great love and longing. I told you. Some of you might not even know this person yet. Some of you, you will. We're gonna, we're gonna be done. We're gonna do this who deck for you. <laughs> who deck for you, that rhymes. And then we're gonna call it a reading. So, what does Pisces need to know? This coffee is making me have so much mucus. It feels disgusting. I need some water. Ugh. All right. Four cards for Pisces for their person. What does their person look like? What is? What are the traits of their person, please, Spirit? Okay. This is coming out for everyone today. It's really weird. Dark complexion. Whoops. We got that again. Hold on. I'm a, I've been doing four of these for each side, so. Social butterfly. <laughs> so, they're a social butterfly. Spiritual. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to hear for you, Pisces. Last card, please. Skillful. Very nice. Okay. Okay. So we have a dark complexion, social butterfly. They like to talk. They like to socialize. We have spiritual. That is a beautiful energy. <laughs> and we have skillful. So they might do some kind of work with their hands. You see that this person is like, looks like he's making something with his hands. He's got a hammer. Um, anyways, so that's your reading. Take it. Take it as it resonates. It's beautiful. It's not going to resonate with everybody, but it's going to resonate with somebody. Okay. <laughs> if you want to book a reading with me, my beautiful Wata sign, Pisces. Um, click the arrow and my description box will pop up with all of my prices. There's two different ways you can tip me on there. Please check out my Etsy shop if you feel so guided. My Lemurian Love Deck is on sale right now for half off. It's like $25, I think. Went from $50 to $25. Um, what else? Check out my son's channel. He works really hard for you guys. Thank you for all of your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, you guys. Liking, sharing, subscribing, all free ways that you can help me with my channel. You guys are awesome. I love you, Pisces. Bye.